Mm -hmm. How's it going, guys? I'm the PG. Welcome to the online stream. Welcome back to Hogwarts Legacy. And the time has finally come. We are going to flying class. Yes. What does that mean? Oh, we are about to learn how to fly with the broom. And it's going to be hopefully awesome. I mean, the practicing will be difficult, I guess. But the good thing is we'll be able to explore the entire map. We can go wherever we want and we don't have long we have to run i'm gonna fly on top of this tower yeah i'm gonna fly on top of this tower right away even when a teacher is like no don't go there don't go there harry wait my name is julian wick not harry yeah all right let's do it let's go to flying class i'm super excited for this hello pg hello hello everyone welcome to the stream let's get the, um, the party started who do you think will fall from the broom first? Well, not me. Not me. All right, let's do it. I'm starting the quest. Yes, let's begin. Can't wait. Can't wait to fly. Everybody grab a broom and we shall get started. Yes, give me the best looking one. Oh, wait, they all look pretty mediocre. Mr. Clopton, your attention, please. Sorry, Madam Kagawa. Everyone, please welcome a new student to our flying class. Welcome. Hello. Hello. It's a new the ace pilot. The goal today is to <laughs> remind all of you how to maneuver on a broomstick safely. As broom flight is, first and foremost, a means of transportation. This, I fear, some of you have forgotten. Diving, rolling, and loop-the-loops will not be taught or in fact tolerated in this class. Oh. We'll leave that to professional Quidditch players, like the Toyohashi Tengu. Uh, Ooh. Not a fan, I take it. Ooh. Now, let's see how well everyone kept up with their practice over the summer holidays. For those who need a refresher, step up to your broom. Say up firmly and clearly. Then kick your leg over and rest your weight on the seat. This, where's the seat? Is there a seat on the broomstick? Up. I never noticed that. Thank you. Now, your turn. Up. Up. Up, you stupid ratty schoolroom. <laughs> All right, can't be that hard. Up. Up. One leg over, so there's a leg on each side. None of that side saddle nonsense. A gust of wind will throw you right off. I got this. I got this. This guy looks like Harry Potter too. And if you hear my whistle while you're in flight, ground yourself at once. Oh, are we grounded then? Good. Now, nice. For your first lesson, fly through each ring in the courtyard. Do take care. The brooms are school property. Wish I, had I want my own them returned broom. in one piece. <laughs> this will take some getting used to. How hard can it be? Oh, this looks awesome, though, already. Well done. Now that you're acclimatized to your broom, let's see how well you manage with a more advanced exercise, shall we? I didn't do anything, actually. I just went a little bit up through three hoops, I guess, right? How are we going to do this? This set of rings will take you around the grounds for more of a challenge. All right. Oh, we can go faster. Okay, perfect. Perfect. Mark, thank you so much for the $10. Appreciate it. Have an amazing Friday. Thank you. Okay, let's go what faster. What a view. <laughs> Hello. How do I go faster nice and descend at the same time? Oh, I can, but it's a little bit tricky with the controls. Made it. Oh, did anyone else see that? I feel like... Is this guy faster than us? Uh, the old boathouse. Wish you could have experienced crossing the lake as the first year. All oh, right, they cross it with the boats, right? With the lights in front. All the babies. Can I, like, speed boost? I can use my wand. Oh, our aquatic resident likes to make an appearance once in a while. <gasps> well, that was awesome. I feel like my broom is a little bit slow, no? Needs a turbocharger. Ha! Good. I've got this. Well, it's not particularly difficult, is it now? But it looks awesome. Look at the look at the graphics. Well done. Have a moment. 
Yes, absolutely. I say, I watched you fly through those rings. You seem to handle yourself on that dusty school broom well enough. I'd imagine you're ready for something a bit more challenging. But I'm getting ahead of myself. I am ready for we that. We haven't properly met. I'm Everett Clopton. Am I right in suspecting that a Gryffindor like you might be interested in a high-flying adventure? I like the sound of that. <laughs> Can't say no to that. What did you have in mind? A bit of a detour, so to speak. Sure. Follow me. I will. I will. The tour is about to begin. Follow closely now. Right now, we're flying over the Transfiguration Courtyard. <laughs> Lovely as ever. Oh, this looks epic. Let's hope the headmaster isn't having tea by the window today. It's going to fly through a window. <laughs> nice to get above it all, isn't it? <laughs> True, true, true. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Why you go so deep here? Ahead of the gardens. The Hufflepuff common room windows just peek out. Bit claustrophobic for my taste. Okay. How is Everett flying so quickly? Here's something handy to know. Lean forward for a burst of speed. Helpful if you need to escape a tricky situation. <laughs> now that's more like it. Oh, okay. There's you a speed sure boost. you're not part Hippogriff? There's the famous bridge. Think of all the magic holding it up. I mean, look at it. And the Owlery. That's a bit of solid architecture, isn't it? Yeah, that tower is beautiful. Flying tips and a jaunt around Hogwarts. This is quite the tour, Everett. It doesn't make me like incredibly fast though. That's Kagawa's whistle. This concludes our tour. Best hurry back. Wow, how fast is he now? Wow, he's super fast now all of a sudden. I'm still kind of not that fast. Maybe he has a better broom, but we have all the same. Hmm. Looks like she's already dismissed class. Better hurry and hand in our brooms. Dismount um, here. How do I dismount? Oh. Perfect. Hopefully I get one. I want one. Please and give me one. And where have you two been? Just a little bit of fun. Just a little bit of oh, fun. hello, Professor. We were trying to get a bit of extra practice in. Hefty points will be taken from each of you for not following my instructions. Mr. Clopton, I am disappointed in you. You're in this class because you're still because you're still not showing yourself, or frankly, your broom the proper respect. But Professor Enough. Class is finished for the day. How did you not respect that? Like I don't understand. As for you. You do well to use better judgment in the future. Chin up. That was some rather good flying. Then you had it in me. I knew I had it in me. Yes. Sorry so about that business with Kagawa. But you have to admit, those views were worth it. It was nice. I wish we hadn't gotten in trouble. <sighs> I've no regrets. It was worth losing a few house points for that detour. You seem at home on a broom. Bet if you had a fancy model, you could fly laps around Imelda. She's Kagawa's favorite. I could show her a thing or two if I had my own broom. Hate having to return the school broom after class. Perhaps I have to purchase a broom then. If you can, you should. Wish I could. Oh, we can. I recommend visiting Albie Weeks at Spintwitch's in Hogsmeade. He's always looking to test new models. I'll keep an eye out for you in the sky. Sure, we're gonna do that. We're gonna do that immediately. Right? I think we should do that. Hey, we almost leveled up. Uh, wait, wait. I need to see if there's a new quest coming in now. One second. We completed the... um. One of the challenges, though. Uh, yeah, I guess... Armored Attire... Okay. Let me check for the quests. Oh, I have the two side quests still. I have to do the uh, Professor Sharp's assignments. Sure. But we can do that. We, we're actually learning a new spell there. I've not forgotten about our library venture. How did you fare? If you're keen for some illicit spell practice. Illicit? Meet me outside the Defense Against the Dark Arts classroom. 
I know a discreet place near there. Sure. Sure. We, we can do such a thing. Uh, let's just go to Hogsmeade real quick. You can't imagine how wow, she always says the same thing. Corridor as soon as you can. I have an idea for somewhere you can focus on your studies. Away from prying eyes and distractions. She wants us to... Uh, all right. All right, all right, all right. Acquire and use a focus potion. Acquire Maxima and the Durus potion and use them simultaneously. Maxima was increasing my power. Like my, my wizard power. Wait, where am I going now? Is this the way to Hogsmeade? I think it was, right? Yeah, I think it is. And the uh, Edoras potion gave us like a um, stone uh, skin. Are we on the right track? I think so. Yeah, we should just be going north. I'm gonna go buy. I'm gonna go buy a, a broom first, though. I really want to fly. I don't want to fast travel all the time either. There's a lot of fast travel points in the in the game, which is amazing. So if you want to, you can just fast travel from one quest to the next one. But I, I feel like it's breaking too much of the immersion. I actually like this world a lot. It feels relaxing just to be here. Yeah, we're gonna go get a broom first. Mm hmm. A castle must have been quite stately in its time. But did, wait a minute, am I going the right direction? No, I'm not going the right direction. Oh my goodness, where am I going? No, I am going the right direction. Yeah, okay, perfect. Let's put a marker there for his... Where's the um, guy who's sending? Yeah, that's where we have to go. Spin witches. That's what they said. Okay, perfect. Hmm, nice. We can just take a detour through the forest, I guess. Oh. Alright. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh yeah, that's a river. Oh, it's just birds. I hope it's not too expensive. I hope it's not too expensive. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Mm, and sometimes it seems like you keep repeating that phrase every single time I enter it. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Nice. Ah, oh, new face. Wonderful. Yeah, like you. Th that's what we need. One with like a a, a bell, a lantern. Revelio. Spint Witch's sporting needs. This shop sells all manner of wizarding sporting goods, including the latest broom models. That's exactly what we need. And a little bit of stealing is what we need too. Uh, 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 I hope you don't mind. I'm just... Uh, I got an unidentified, unidentified hand item. All right. I have yet to figure out how to actually identify those items. Yeah, I think the main story will reveal that to us. Yeah. Hello, Mr. Weeks, is it? Albie Weeks at your service. Welcome to Spin Witches. Apologies if you came by before and weren't able to come in. Shop's been closed since trade routes were disrupted. I had to travel as far as London to meet with my supplier. And I've only just returned, thankfully with inventory. I presume you're in the market for a new broom? Got a few yes. rare U weavers available. Ember Dash, Silver Arrows, Wind Wisps too. No matter what broom you choose, you'll be pleased. They're all exceptional, both in quality and performance. Silver arrow look good, right? Sounds quite the array of brooms. I'll have a look around. Thank you. What are we looking for today? Oh, no, they're all the same. They're all 600 gold. I have 3,000. Uh, it doesn't tell me if they're faster or slower. That item is of the highest quality. Which one looks the best? That kind of looks like not so fast. 
That item is of the highest quality. A stylish broom. I I don't know. The lantern. I don't. Should we have one with a lantern? I'm not feeling the lantern. That item is of the highest quality. Mm. I guess they're all the same speed. It makes literally no. They don't have stats. It doesn't tell you that they have stats, and they all cost that the same. That item is of the highest quality. This one. This one here. Hmm. It says comfortable and speedy broom, right? But here it that says, item is of the highest quality. you know, perfect broom for a, f uh, a fiery temperament. Here you have the, you know, it doesn't, I think they're all the same. I think they're all the same speed. I just don't feel like the lantern. That Should we take the, the lantern though? Quality. I don't know. Let's take this one. Even though this is the one that I initially didn't like that much. I'll just, I, I just hope that this little cloth piece is not like wiggling around in the wind a lot. The second one looks good. That item is of the highest quality. This one? Yes. We, I guess we can go back and buy another one if we don't like it. You'll be thrilled with that broom. I promise you. I'm quite certain they're all the same speeds. Nice doing business with you. Thanks okay. for stopping by. Whilst nearly any broom will certainly be a step up from the practice brooms in Kagawa's class, they all have their limitations. Oh. You seem to be a flyer who might be interested in, say, some enhancements? Go on. Ha! Knew I was right about you. I think you'll be quite happy with the performance of any broom at lower altitudes. But you may notice that speed consistency tends to falter as you rise. I believe I can remedy this issue. I have some ideas for enchantments, upgrades, if oh. you will, that will improve the performance of any broom you fly. What I need is someone to conduct a broom flight and report back to me so I can perfect the upgrades. As it happens, another Hogwarts student, Imelda Reyes, is using abandoned broom courses for time trials. Clever girl. An ideal situation for collecting flight statistics. If you were to compete for the best time and succeed, then report back to me with how your broom behaved, I could complete work on my first upgrade. What say? I'm in. Let's do it. I'm the right person for this. That sounds intriguing. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. It'll be worth your while. If I'm right, the new upgrade ought to enhance brooms in every regard. And I can give you a special price. The time trial should be a bit of fun too. Go to the Quidditch pitch and Imelda Reyes will sort you out. Oh, but I'm going to be Once her. Once you've beaten Imelda's time, be sure to let me know. He, he wouldn't even let us buy this one here. I don't understand. Why is it on display then? <laughs> I was expecting, I was expecting like entry level rooms. <sighs> and then like. I can't help but admire Mr. Weeks' enthusiasm. Uh, uh. I thought it's going to be like entry level and then like a higher level, but they were all the same price. So the game won't let me buy better brooms. So how do I... Oh, you. Oh yeah, you can have three upgrades. I can see there's uh, uh, three slots there. Yeah. All right. How do I use it now, though? I, I don't know how to call it. Because it, in in the in the um Hogsmeade, here I come. No, I'm leaving. <laughs> oh, this era wouldn't allow me to fly it. Uh, to fly it. Like this allows I accidentally drank a potion. And let's just drink the other one as well, and then we're like uh We at least completed the quest. Uh well, wasted a potion that was worth 500 gold. I had it for a special fight against a really strong enemy. Because we're literally invincible right now. I... I wanted to open the selection wheel. There we go. There we go. That is nice. That's pretty lovely. I like that. I like that. I like that. You can go where you want now. This is cool. That's cool. We can just go fly around the map. 
We can just discover the map and we haven't even been to like the North Fort Bog or Hogwarts Valley or the Coastal Cavern. We haven't even discovered any of that stuff. Okay, but let's just go to Imelda Race first, shall we? Yeah. To the Quidditch fields. Ah, my boost. My boost is in the um, bottom right corner. All right, understand. Why well, I can fly faster. It's a little bit of a shame. I, th I cannot look down while I'm flying. Okay. What do you have for me? Hey, you, Gryffindor. Aye, 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 aye. Why is it not stopping? Why is it not stopping? Oh yeah, I spoke like this. Okay. Uh, hello. Amelda Rays? Albie Week sent me. <laughs> Did he now? Still tinkering with his broom upgrade, no doubt. I tried to help him once. He nitpicked my flying technique. And that was the end of that. The nerve. Why is he roping you into his broom testing silliness? You've barely started flying from what I know. Caught wind of you showing off in flying class with Clopton. It, she does sound jealous. Seems someone's jealous of my skills on a broom. <laughs> Me? Slytherin Quidditch captain. Jealous of you? Everyone knows that class is only for beginners, troublemakers and bumbling baboons. But for some reason, now people think you're competition. Ugh, I can't be having that. Perhaps I am competition. You're not even Slytherin. Could be a useless squib for all I know. Enough of this. Only one way to find out who's the better flyer. I hold one of the fastest times on this course. Let's see if you can beat it. Slytherin versus Gryffindor. Actually, why not? I can beat your record. Sure can I'm I so be. looking forward to seeing you lose. I'm looking forward to seeing you lose. Ditto. Where do I have to go? Easy. This is the easiest thing I've ever done. This is rather fun. <laughs> now that's more like it. Ah, I missed the speed rings. The controls are not ideal, though. When I go, want to go down, right? When I want to go down, I, I have to stop the boosting. The controls are not ideal. I can't put my hands there. It's, 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 it's. Oh, I need to change the controls of that. I can't. I cannot go fast and go down at the Success. same time. It's not possible. I lost a lot of time there. I can't go down. <laughs> now that's more like it. Can't go down. Why are the controls like this? I'm never gonna beat their time. Did it. Brilliant. It's not bad what I'm doing, but still. No, I missed the speed. Ah, the speed spheres. Come, 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 come. Is that the last one? <laughs> oh, this is rather fun. Easy. Wow, we had like 20 seconds, 30 seconds or so to spare. Oh, you're right. Well, <laughs> look at this man, the face with the face of a winner. <gasps> That's not... You, you must have cheated, you... Oh, fine. You won. I won. Don't think this is over. You can't determine skill from one single trial. Surely my win means something. Eh, you're not terrible. But you're still going to have to prove yourself if you want to earn my respect. I don't really care about her respect. Yeah. I don't want respect from the likes of you. 
All you do is insult people. You and everyone else need to get a thicker skin. Anyway, I'm moving on to the next course. It's near Irondale and offers a much tougher challenge. You can try to prepare by racing this course again. Just check in at the podium where the leaderboard is. You can check your time and start the race. We'll see next time if your win here was more than just a fluke. Whilst on an errand for Alby Weeks. So she wants to go to the next... Oh, return to the podium to challenge other racers. All right. Is this the podium? Race leaderboards. Julian Wick. I suspect Wick. Mr. Weeks will be glad to hear how I fared. Oh, I'm only second. So she, ah, she was like, hey, my name is Imelda and I have a 220 is what she has, right? But Ruby, Ruby with the 132, this is nine seconds faster than me. Um, I can definitely beat her. The thing is just the controls are like so weird for me. I can't put my hands to go down and speed boost at the same time. It's not possible. I need to change the controls for flight. So it should be like, um, I, I, I need like, um, I need to see if I can do that. One second. Uh, controls. Are there controls for flying? Fly down. Fly up. Fly down. This needs to be... I'm gonna overwrite the walk and switch it with walk because you can't walk with a broom you can only walk with a mount and i don't have a mount yet so this is going to be a problem for a later time all right let me see now i should be able and i should be able to go up and down thought someone up, would ever best and down oh yes yes oh i am fast now i am fast now i just noticed the skull on the side of the rope looks sick yeah i look like a real dark wizard already right they're moving actually there's a cup there's like the skulls are on it and it's like uh smoke rising yeah all right oh we should all we already have to go back to lb weeks okay cool he's giving us an upgrade i think i think he's already giving us an upgrade let's see okay but that's cool now i can go down and go down fast as well that's all I needed. I don't know why I didn't notice those ruins the first time we went to Hogsmeade. I, I don't remember them. These rocks have seen better days. That's true. I want an upgrade that we can boost for longer. That would be cool. What happens if we enter a no-fly zone? Oh, it's protected by magical shields. <laughs> All right. Akio. Protected by a magical shield. Wait, there was something here. Rebellion. Hey. Oh, the only all wizarding village in Britain, Hogsmeade. Yeah, but I, we already know that. But good that we have the page now, I guess. We Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? Hmm. Let's see what he has in store for us. Oh, you're back! We've something to report, I hope. Mm hmm. Yes. Mr. Weeks, I was able to set a record on my broom. Incredible! Miss Ray's must have been shocked. Tell me, how was the broom? A little turbulent, and it's wanting for a bit of speed, but it fared well enough. I will say that it tended to drift a bit to the left on certain turns. Heard a slight swoosh when I dipped. Oh, thank you. Hmm, that's precisely what I needed to know. Drifted, eh? I shall get to work immediately. Even the naysayers will be forced to admit that my work's had potential all along. I'm excited to hear more. I have a very good feeling about this upgrade. I guarantee you'll be pleased. Expect to hear from me soon. Oh, okay, we're hmm. not getting it right now. How he has to make it first. How the issue of altitude as it relates to speed? All right, that's fine. That's fine.
We successfully completed the quest though. Which means we can collect... We can collect the, the challenge here and we get a... Here, we get... Appearance award. If we got gloves we can wear now if we want to, but it's fine. Uh, it's okay. I like the look we're having right now. We're having, that's not bad. It's not a bad look at all. Yeah. All right. Uh, it's a little bit weird. Oh, look at that. You can have uh, you can have two different mounts there. Do you see it on the right side? That's kind of cool. Let's go to uh what what the um, the professor wanted to see us yeah or we could go to sebastian or we could go to sebastian the side quest i guess yeah all oh, right you cannot see that well it's exactly there it's ex it's just basically the the it's basically just the slots right it's it's just the slots where you can see the mounts that you equipped wow look how beautiful this is What happens if I fly and then just land? Oh, it will auto land me. Okay, I cannot fall off. It's impossible to fall off. What if I go on top of Hogwarts? <laughs> it's like a lift. <laughs> Where can... Oh, look at, he look at that. You cannot enter while mounted. Oh, there's someone there. I can fly around, but okay. All right, all right. I see how it is. I see how it is. Hmm. That looks kind of cool. Should we do... Uh, should we do a... Uh, should we do a quest or should we just uh, go and um, go around the map a little bit, play around the map? I wonder if I can land on the rooftop though, real quick, I, I want to see if that's possible. Here for example, it probably will tell me that I cannot enter while mounted. Let's see. Let's see if we can land here. I, I don't know. I don't know. Let's see. Nah, nah. It, it, it won't let me go off. Nah, okay, okay. It makes sense. Why would I ever be... <laughs> Why would I be on the rooftop here, right? It doesn't make any sense to be up here. To be honest. I shouldn't be here. I just wanted to see that I can do it. Which is kind of cool, right? This is kind of cool. Explore. Quest. Explore. Explore, fly around. Hmm. Let me let me see the quest real quick. Because we're learning a new spell. I always want to learn new spells. Uh, here. We go to the quests. Wow, look how many there are. We, we learn new things here. Yeah. I think that will be nice. We can go to Perry Pippin for a side quest. Go to the Summoner's Court boards. Yeah, but let's 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 do. Should we speak? If I, uh, do we look, are we looking for simple work? I'm gonna go do this. Maybe we have to explore the map. Maybe we explore the map while going to this guy. 
Let's go back. Let's go back. Well, it's a little bit. It's a shame that we have to go back the right direct the direction we came from. Uh, now, when it's getting dark, I do wonder what happened. What would have happened had we chosen the one um, broom with the um, the candlelight in front? Yeah. Is it open world? Yes, yes. Like uh, you can, you can fly around, go, walk around wherever you want. It's the map is, it's it's uh, pretty big, I would say. All right, let's go ask him what we can do for him. Yeah, I know, I know, I cannot enter. I know, I know. Hop. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Why does he always say that? Come on in. Healing potions are a speciality here, should you need any. Oh, right. I need to buy a focus potion and need, uh, and use it as well. It's one of the quests. One second. I need what to see. What can I do for you today? I need to buy a focus potion. He doesn't sell... Oh, he does sell potions. Yeah, okay. A wise decision. Thank you. Thunderbrew creates a storm around the drinker which will stun and damage nearby enemies. Wow. I'm gonna buy this one again for the a stone wise skin. Decision. Thank you. Uh and invisibility potion. I'm kinda rich. I'm just shopping a little bit. Okay, let's ask him for the about the quest. I hope to see you no, again. No, 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 no. Well Hello, Mr. Pippin. Yeah. You need help with the delivery. Yes, I do. A capable student such as yourself should have no trouble making the trip to Cambridge. It's just south of Hogwarts. Nice. What do you need delivered? Fatima Lawang ordered a few invisibility potions. I used to go myself, but lately Fatima has taken to turning every visit into an argument. Constantly complaining about the quality of my stock. But how can I maintain excellence when she orders so often, giving me no time to brew? If you take this rather irritating task off my hands, I'd happily allow you to claim the delivery fee from Fatima. She sounds annoying. I'd be happy to help with the delivery. You've no idea how grateful I am, truly. Here are the invisibility potions she requested. Hopefully she won't give you too much trouble. She's a talented potioner in her own right. I dare say I wouldn't mind having a look at her potion recipes one day. Oh, we just we like uh. All right. That seems easy enough. We have to go south of Hogwarts. Let's see. World map. Yes, perfect. We got. We, yes, yes, yes. This, it's basically we're doing a quest and we're exploring at the same time. Perfect. Just what we needed. Just what we need us. That building looks beautiful. Yeah. All right. Uh, here we can use the broom again. Let's go. Nice, you can finally go to certain locations with ease. Yeah, yeah, now we can, we can basically, if we wanted to, we can fly from one end to the next one if we wanted to, yeah. But it's like, look how far away it is. It's 1,600 meters. Yards. <clears throat> Probably not miles. It's gonna take two minutes to fly there if we keep flying at this speed. <laughs> I wonder if we see enemies or something on the ground. That would be awesome. We could just stop and fight them. Uh, I'm going along the coastline. I heard something. I hear something. Is 
It's an enemy. There's an enemy below me. There's an enemy below me. Oh, what is that? A duck bog. Oh, wait, I have to levitate it with his tongue. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Come, 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 come now. Incendio. Ah! Ha 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 Wait, 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 wait. Let's let's use a let's use a focus potion real quick. Uh, focus potion. Where is it? Here. It reduces my s cooldowns, my spell cooldowns. Excellent. Leviosa. <laughs> that was fun. Okay, that was cool. I I wasn't able to use I I wasn't able to use the one while flying. No, I had to land first. Use Avada Kedavra for enemies is it possible? Yes, yes, but I haven't learned it yet. I think you learn it. I think you learn it at the very end. I think it's be better in light. I I don't know how to change the the time in the game. I have no clue. But it seems to me that it's like it's night is the same amount as this is day for some reason. I agree, it would be better if it's daylight, but I don't know how to change it. This is Hogwarts Valley. Oh, there's a wolf here. All right, we have another. All right, all right, all right. Easy. There's a spider over here. Wow. Hey. What was that? How did it get me? How did it get me? Oh, it came from the ground? Oh. They are not easy to defeat at all. Cast fiends. Wow, alright. It's a nice little fight here in the forest. Hmm. Let me collect something here. The lace wing flies. Back to flying. Oh, there's a Merlin trial here, but let's do it at daylight. I have a feeling there's a lot of spiders here that we can fight. There's a a, a mongrel here once more. What does C do? What is C good for? What? I've never used that before. I've never seen it on the screen before. Oh, hey, my keyboard changed to uh, the English keyboards. It should be Y. Yeah, there we go. Expelliarmus. <laughs> well, it didn't stand a chance. I love how smooth the transition is between walking and uh, just flying and then landing. It's really well done. Um, can we repair this bridge? I guess we can. 
Reparo. Reparo. Revelio. Yeah, there was nothing of uh nothing of value here. Uh This is really nice. Oh, that's where she lives. Fatima. All right. But I hear something. Ooh. Hello there. Levitate two enemies sim simultaneously. I think I can do such a thing, right? Levioso. <laughs> Oh, why did it not work for the other one? It should have. I, l I learned a skill. I learned... I, I learned a skill that I can levitate multiple enemies at the same time as long as they're reasonably close to each other. Potato. goodness all right let's deliver the uh, invisibility potions we're getting sidetracked here it's another merlin's trial wonder who lives here hey you know exactly who lives here right that pippin should have been here by uh. now Hey, she's even working in the middle of the night. Madam Luang, I have a delivery from J. Pippin's potions. Pippin's <laughs> potions. Sent a child to do his work for him, did he? Always cutting corners and taking the easy way out. Did he have your brew them for him as well? Doesn't matter. You could probably do it better than he can anyway. Yeah, that's the question. Why did she buy them then? Why do you keep ordering from him if you think the quality to be inferior? It would seem I have more and more customers who are trying to stay out of sight. I'm not one to judge. You can simply imagine the stress I'm under to deliver quality products. Unlike some vendors, I strive to keep my customers satisfied. That doesn't make sense what she says. Here are the potions you requested. You think it's so simple? I know Pippin is always trying to cheat his customers. Cutting corners to save some galleons for himself at the expense of quality. You'll not be getting a canut out of me until you prove the potion works. Drink it. <laughs> what if I turn into a frog? Seems simple enough. I'll do it. I should think so. Well, then one is gone. I'm not going to give you another one. Oh. If she doesn't reimburse me for it, it's it's over. It seems to have worked. Hmm. Well, I suppose that will do. If the demand for potions is as high as you say, have you considered being easier to work with? Perhaps combining your recipes and skills? Ha! <laughs> Not such chance. That ne'er do well had his shop handed to him. The rest of us had to make our own way. I'll not give him the benefit of my hard work and gumption. If he fails on his own, so be it. Wow, she's rude. <sighs> Very well. I shall let Mr. Pippin know I delivered the potions as requested. You do that. What do you have for sale? What are we looking for today? She doesn't even sell the good potions. At least Jay Pippin's potions sold me invisibility, uh, the other stuff, and she's just selling me the Wigan World potion. Exactly I can brew that myself. It's the one I can brew myself. Man, you 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 have very little that is Thank like you for interesting. In. I appreciate it. Yeah, return to Perry Pippin. Sure, let's activate the um, flu. 
right we can do like we can actually do all the trials that we now skip what do you have in store for me this time all right are we ready are you guys ready for a merlin's trial i need everyone's eyes on the screen right we're gonna solve it together all right all right, all right. let's go let's go probably got to do with water I saw nothing this time. I I saw literally it's nothing. Like a place right out of a storybook. I saw literally nothing change. Revelio. That doesn't make sense. Do you guys see anything that's suspicious? What? The last time there were like pillars or at least, at least something on the ground. Uh, there was like a hint. But here I see nothing. What? Am I supposed to go into the water? I don't even know how to start it. I, I have no idea how to start it. I, I didn't see... I did, Maybe it's only be... Maybe you can only complete it during daylight. I, I Maybe only daytime. Yes, I, I'm with you. I, because I saw literally nothing. There's nothing to start with. It's not a puzzle if you don't even know what to do. But I, I do see something in the water here. It's a gate. Oh, it's a cave. How wonderful. Wow. That's amazing. Let's explore it. Can I go up here? Uh. Nope. I wasn't expecting that. Uh, Accio. That, that did the trick. But there's a toad. <laughs> the sound it's making ridiculous. I'm sorry, Mr. Toad. Sorry, sorry. I just had to try again. Ooh, we got a uh, school uniform. Nice. It has better stats than the one we're wearing. Yeah, it's level 14. That's perfect. We are level 14. Nice. Fantastic. And a little bit of gold. I guess that's Rebellion. everything here. Yeah, okay. But it looks really cool. Like, it looks really nice. The graphics are immaculate. Look at that. Uh, well, uh, just for good measure. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm really sorry. And this is cool. Nice little surprise. How do we get out of here now, though? Oh, okay. Okay, okay. We dive out of here. <laughs> oh, that was cool. 
it probably is somewhere here inside the cliff right but why was there daylight there it's kind of night out here uh, wait i have an idea for merlin's trial this doesn't look like merlin's trial though does it this looks like something else lumos Mm. No, they're not doing anything. They're just flying around me. Oh, they, they, they actually disappeared. Is this Merlin's trial? Like, usually it's like three things, right? But it, it doesn't make any sense. Why would that be related to Merlin's trial? Rebellion. It's beehives. The wizarding world needs honey for the tea as much as the muggle world does. Those are very peculiar beehives. But fair enough. Right. Not sure how I'd fare in a little place like this. Yeah. I don't know how to start this Merlin's trial or what to do with it. It doesn't seem obvious to me. Like, I don't even know where to start. I, I can't even figure anything out because i don't know how it starts maybe it's here maybe this is it that looks like a merlin's trial it... i don't know does it though Revelio. doesn't look like it's an item i can do anything with um... incendio hmm i don't know Oh, that looks grim. Whoa! Do we have zombies? Oh, we literally cannot attack them. They need to be on fire for us to attack them. Yeah, yeah, they need to burn. Otherwise, they, go, they take zero damage. Incendio. Well, good thing we have Incendio then, huh? Expelliarmus. Incendio. Take that. Hey, that's your gravestone. It has your name on it. <laughs> Incendio. I'm sorry for coming to a graveyard in the night. Lumos. No, not Lumos. I wanted to use Livioso. Accio. Incendio. Yeah, it had your name on it. Goodbye. That was awesome. Revelio. I wasn't expecting this. Hmm. Just walking around a little bit. Hmm. Oh, why is it night for so long? What are those balloons good for? Hmm. Oi, it scared me. Am I supposed to destroy them? Maybe all in one go. Hey, it's a challenge. <laughs> all right, that was cool. Uh, 
What's over here? Okay. This looks interesting. It's like a manor. Wow, that looks really nice. And it's finally getting a... Uh... This looks intriguing. Play it. Play that again. Protego! Stupid! Yeah. Accio! Incendio! Oh. Expelliarmus! Not my fault you're a deadly great spider. Yeah, that's true. I can't have this Lumo spell when I'm fighting enemies. Ah. This place has seen better days. True. Uh, can we move it? Accio! Incendio! Rebellio! It, it looks like a mechanism, but what can I do with it? Hmm. Incendio! Oh, we need the box to get up here, don't we now? Uh, right. Accio. Come here, box. Come here. Yeah, we are flexible enough. Perfect. Up we go. And let's explore this place. Two golds. Ridiculous. Mm, an asylum mask. Oh, I don't want to wear that. But there's the same there's the same mechanism here again. Maybe there's a spell. Maybe there's a spell that we don't know yet. I have a feeling. Levioso. I have a feeling there's a spell that I don't know yet. Accio. Because I cannot interact with it. Maybe the repairo. Repairo. Nah, nah. I feel like there's a spell that we don't have yet. Um, like, maybe uh, Vingardium Leviosa, right? Maybe. I don't know. I, I don't think I can interact with this yet. Yeah. Which is... It, it, it is what it is. We just come back to this place then, I guess. At a later time. I should investigate. Yeah, but I can't solve it. I feel like I'm limited. But this sure does look... It looks amazing. Hey, hey, hey! More balloons to pop. Uh, oh, we gotta go back to Jay Pippin's potions. He's waiting for his potions. Yeah. He's waiting for his money. There's a butterfly below me? Is that a Merlin's trial? No, it has a different look. Revelio. What? I see I see a butterfly. Oh, it's moving. This it's it's them. It's this specific horde of butterflies, but what's so special about you? Why do I see you in the minimap? Hmm? What what do they want from me? Lumos. I see they are marked on a minimap, but I don't seem to be able to do anything with them. Incendio. 
Sorry, I had to try. I, I had to try. I had to try. My best. I had to try. It was a symbol on the minimap. Maybe I have to progress a little bit more in the main story uh, to like unlock more of the world. Keep an enemy airborne for 10 seconds. Accio! Incendium! Expelliant! Oi, sorry. It, it should have been airborne for longer. It kind of died too fast. There, there was a skill, if I remember correctly, that you can have two different sets of skills and then just simply replace them, right? So, like, let, let's say I put... I think I have to unlock it first. I think I have to uh, uh, unlock it first. And then I can put the spells in the second row and I can simply switch. Let, let me check real quick, because it would be very good to have, like, one set of skills, spells, just for uh, fights and one for exploration. Uh, it was for talents. Um, a new spell set is added. I think that's what I need. I'm gonna learn this. Mm. Um, let's let's see. Yes, looks good. So we we use we use a repair row here, Lumos here, uh, invisibility here, and we don't know more than that. Okay, yeah, that's fine though. But now I can switch. Okay, that's perfect. So if we ever need rebuild stuff, or we, be, we, have, we need Lumos, I can simply switch. I no longer have to go open the menu. Oh, that's perfect. That's very nice. I like that. Makes my life easier as a wizard. Oh, we have, we have vultures. Back for more. Ugh, not the brightest child. Ah, the left. Whoa, what animals did they try to steal? Whoa! That's Akio, incendio. That dude got destroyed. What animal did they poach? Looks like a... No, I can't free it. I don't... I don't have the power to... F oh, look, it's this... No, it's a small fluffy thing. It's so fluffy. And it has no legs. But I can't open the... L I need to know. I need to know how to learn the, the spell to open locks. I really need that. I'm sorry I can't free you. I'm sorry. Well, what can I do? I can't open it. I can't open it. But there's poachers here who steal rare animals. Okay. Hey, where do you think you're going? <laughs> I just want to have a chat. That is also kind of cool. It's like a plant that looks like a dragon. <laughs> uh, 
Uh. All right, let's go back. Wait, wait, what is this place here? It's a village. Hmm. Seems a pleasant enough little place. I I do get like distracted a lot, but it's good. It's we're exploring. I like it. I just don't like to see all the locked now? doors. I don't like all the locked doors. I can never face my little daughter again. This guy even has a quest for us. Let's just talk to him, but I'm not going to do it right now. I need to do the other quest with Pippins first. Is there something I can help you with, Mr... Adley. Edgar Adley. Uh, no. No, I don't think so. Blast Milo and his mad schemes. Milo? He was my friend. Came to me a few days ago with a brilliant plan to make some quick galleons. All I had to do was follow him into the Forbidden Forest. Had I known he wanted to procure venom from a living acromantula. Oh, poor Milo. He didn't deserve to go like that. I think he did deserve it. Oh, well, that's rude. <laughs> I'm very sorry to hear about your friend. Oh, thank you. I can't think of it. Milo's body is still in that cave with the absconder. The absconder? Aye, uh, Milo's name for the acromantula. He did have a flair for the dramatic. <laughs> in fact, as he died, Milo begged me to take his heirloom pocket watch. So that his daughter would have something to remember him by, but I... I fled. Well, if I have time, I can try to collect the heirloom watch, Mr. Adley. You can't possibly go to the Acromantula's cave. You'd be killed. Please, forget I said anything. Absconder encounter. Now, where could that Acromantula cave be? I just have no clue. I don't know how strong it is, right? So if this is like a level what what not uh enemy, we we not going to Yeah, wow, it's a level 30 quest. Yeah, okay. No, 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 no. <laughs> nope. I uh, nope out of there immediately. There's no way we're going to There's no way we're going to defeat that spider. It's like a boss fight, I think. It sounded like a boss fight to me. Well, it's nice to have the quest, but there's no way we're going to defeat it. My, I'm not strong enough yet. Let's go back to Jay Pippin's potions and uh, deliver the money. Hey, that's Hogsmeade Station. Nice. And back at Hogsmeade. But it won't let us fly in it, so we have to stop here now. Mm -hmm. Hogsmeade, here I come. Mm hmm. If something threatens me. Man, I really can't wait to learn a spell to open all those locked doors. Imagine all the loot. All right. Hello there. In the market for potions, are we? Don't you recognize me? Hmm. I delivered the potions to Fatima Luang. Very good. And uh, did she cause you any trouble? It was no problem. Nothing to worry about. I handled it. Glad to hear it. And thank you again for your help. I'd like an additional fee. Nah, we agreed on the fee, so it's fine. It was a pleasure doing business with you, Mr. Pippin. Likewise. <laughs> Worth every bit of that delivery fee to have someone capable deal with that witch. Best of luck with your potions, Mr. Pippin. Do take care. How much did we get? I didn't see it. 300. That's fair. 
300 gold is fair, I would say. All right, let's time to go back to uh Akio. Whoops, I think I destroyed something. It's time to go back to the castle and learn the new spell. And then we go to Sebastian and he wants to show us another spell. We're going to learn two new spells now. But it's cool. I like it. We have a broom. Oh, this is awesome. Just flying around, exploring a little bit. Oh, did you see that? Yeah, I most certainly did see that because it was me on the broom. Can you believe it? And it's like quite long. <laughs> this is so cool. I don't know about you guys, right? But everyone who saw like the Harry Potter movies or you were reading the books back in the day, uh, that's always as a kid, I was like, wow, like, I wish there was like um, a game like that. You know, I wish I could like explore it. That's kind of it. This, the detail is immaculate. It looks so good. All right, let's land. Can we land a little bit faster? That's a little bit too slow for me. Okay, perfect. Hey, easy. It's just me. Oh no, you lost. Let's let's watch. Are you kidding me? Your ball was stuck in the sky. How can you continue doing this? She's she keeps losing. <laughs> Why does she keep losing? Oh my goodness, you're so bad. Was it lower Hogsfield? Well, both Hogsfields. But it's always so noisy in the common room. And then I can't call Come on, score a point. I, I believe in you. You can do this. I believe in you. She's terrible. Wow, is she losing every single point? I feel bad for her. Um Let's let's activate the quest. We need to go to uh we need to go to Professor Sharp. We get the Pulso, the spell, and then we go to, um, we go to Professor Weasley. Yeah. I wasn't bullying. She's just terrible. She was just terrible. Repairer. Well, I guess it's not broken. Oh, I hope to have an owl of my own. I spend the entire day. Oh my goodness. What? A dispute amongst suit of armors. Yeah, pretend you didn't do anything here now, right? Maybe he was snoring. Yeah, he had it coming. Good job. He had enough of his little, you know, shenanigans. <laughs> <gasps> repair him. No, I can't even repair him. I can't. I can't. Bro, that's 
violence. I I was trying. I was trying to repair. I can. I can't. Rebellion. It's not something I can enter. Ah, that attack was personal. Yes. Wait, we already looted that. I remember. I remember we already looted that. Transfiguration. What am I missing? How am I meant to concentrate on potions when Professor Sharp is so intimidating? coming along I think it's a bug when you enter a classroom that did oh my potion should be done by now I can brew a new one mm. ah they're still all locked just I, I should buy the recipes let's brew a, a, a wigan well potion real quick it takes 15 oh. seconds it's the one that's healing us. It's like a healing potion. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm a good cook. Yeah, perfect. There we go. And let's brew this one, but we don't have to be here. We can just... Uh, exactly. Talk to the professor. He's going to teach us a new spell. I completed your assignments, professor. Good. You should be ready to learn De Pulso. De Pulso. Let's see what you can do. Concentrate. Do not let your mind wander. What does You've it do? You've got it now. If you'd like to practice, and I think you should, perhaps best not to go flinging your classmates about the halls. I suggest having a go at the enchanted books here. What is the pulso though? What? Repels many types of objects and enemies with considerable force. Oh, it's a pushback. That could come in handy. It's basically the opposite of uh, Levioso. No, no, not Levioso. Accio. Alright. Okay, let's uh, let's have it here. Deposit. Well done. I'm glad to see that you seem staunchly determined to master your spellcasting. Yeah, that could come in handy in fights. You push your opponent back. Alright, that's cool. Maybe we can solve more riddles with this as well. Still at it, I see. Well, repetition can be an excellent teacher. Revelio. He's an auror as well. Mm-hmm. All right. He's like an FBI in the v wizarding world. Let's collect my potion. Okay, perfect. Um, And now we have to go to Professor Weasley, I think. She wants to teach us something new as well. Mm, the Room of Requirements. It's about time. Yeah. Da, 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 da. All of the shopkeepers Handy resource indeed, your field guide. Oh my goodness, why does she always mention it every single time you go next to the flu fa fast travel? In trouble, are we? Paid up to that good. Might some kind soul help me? Da, 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 da. We'll be learning a defense spell. I cannot do this for all. 
all eternity. Oh, Eddie. You have it. You have it hard. Hello there. Perhaps you can help me. Oh, sure. Arthur. Hello. Were you calling me? I was, yes. Thought you might be interested in joining me for a bit of an adventure. Following a treasure map, to be precise. Slight respite from battling the odd troll, I should think. Asked Poppy if she'd be interested as well, but couldn't drag her away from her puff skein. I found two maps lying about, both leading to locations around Hogwarts. Care to have a look at one? Sure. Not sure it's worth my time. It's a treasure map. Following a Hogwarts treasure map? Count me in. Wonderful. Hogwarts fascinates me. You can keep whatever treasure lies at the end of your map. I'll be satisfied just knowing where it leads. He's so humble. Very well. I shall take a look if I can find the time. Fair enough. Meet me back here if you find anything. He's just happy that he knows it leads somewhere. All right, all right, all right, all right. So we go up the stairs, right? Next to the um, rhino skeleton. And then we go through a door somewhere in the garden next to the fountain with the dragon. And there's a painting and you pull... You pull whatever is with Akio out of the painting, right? Which... Where where exactly is that now? Or where do we start? I'm not sure I read this correctly. Should we... Let's do this right now real quick, shall we? Find the first landmark from Arthur's treasure map. Wasn't it down here? I mean, Hogwarts building is massive. Uh, I feel like we just passed it, didn't we? That's that, that's it. That's the one, right? That's the one. Hmm. This is the one. So. Ah, a rhinoceros skeleton. I'm on the right track. So, but it says we should go left. The stairs left of it, but... If only a new student were to help me with this <sighs> sad predicament. I don't really get it. Wait, one second. How can I look at the map again? How can I look at it again? We should just go downstairs. And then where? But go upstairs again or go right? What's the point? I, I don't know where the statue is. I think we should just go to the statue with the, uh, the fountain with the dragon on it. And then there's a door there. And I guess there's a room with a painting in it. It seems rather straightforward. I just have zero clue. What? Why is there a, an arrow that says we should go here? That doesn't help me at all because it's like do we keep going here right or do we go here why is this door glowing well that was it, i don't understand so there's the fountain yeah i'm getting closer we are this is the entrance the dedalian keys are back aren't they brilliant that was more confusing than actually helping the first point. Why not just lead us exactly to uh, the fountain first? And now we need to find a painting that is round-ish. This stairwell looks promising. It's actually telling me? Is it telling Pick me where the tasks this? I've given you and then meet me in my classroom to learn Defindo, the severing charm. Oh. It's typically used to cut an object, but can be a powerful weapon when needed. It's actually telling me. That's lame. I was looking for the the portrait. Uh, all right. The pulso. No, that's the wrong one. Why is the pulso 
now in both slots. Akio! Uh, there was a doorway hidden within the portrait. Wow, nice. I wonder what came of Arthur's search. That looks really good. That rope look it was looking fantastic. I like it. I dig it. Let let's be let's be handsome, All right? Like let's get, be, be gone ridiculous uh hats. Eh, that doesn't look so bad. I look like a a scholar now. Maybe maybe the uh the scarf is uh not matching the outfits. Oh, this doesn't I mean it looks like I look like I'm sleepy a little bit, but that doesn't look half bad. That doesn't look half bad one bit. Uh, Randy, thank you so much for the ten dollars. Appreciate it. Thank you. That looks not bad. That looks not bad at all. We we went from dark wizard to like a stylish wizard. Uh, let's return to wow it's beautiful let's return to arthur the dedalian keys are back aren't they brilliant And I want to find my way back to him like that. He should be up there. All right. We have to go up one more time. I think so. The staircase was over there. And this place is wild. This place is so big. He wasn't here though, but he moved. Okay. Wonder what Kagawa thinks of Quidditch being cancelled. And then the werewolves join the goblin. Made any progress with your treasure map? Sure did. Hello, Arthur. Thought you might like to know that my map led to a doorway hidden within a portrait. Oh, how clever! Mine led to the boathouse. Barely found the treasure before I saw the headmaster coming. He shooed me out of there, but not before I got a few galleons richer. What did you find? I found what I believe is an authentic historian's uniform. Oh, that's lucky. Seems as though we both had success. Glad I enlisted you to join me. He enlisted well, me. on to the next Hogwarts mystery. Wonder if a quick rummage round Weasley's office might yield anything interesting. Yeah. <laughs> uh we we have to we have to go there as well we have to go there uh to learn the new spells Lara, right, let's go sorry just coming through let me also begin Professor Weasley Hmm somewhere away from prying eyes
forgive me, the headmaster stopped me and I... Merlin's beard. I see you've wasted no time. Well done. Shall we? After you, Professor. Sure. What is this place? This is the Womb of Requirement. It only appears when one is in real need of it. Ordinarily, a student might stumble upon this room entirely by accident. If ever. I'd only planned to suggest to you how to find it by walking past that bit of wall, focusing on what you need. But you've managed to reveal the room on your own. While I'm here, we should take advantage of the moment. Now. Where is Deke? He must have sneaked past and gone ahead. Deke, Professor? The house elf I was speaking to in my classroom your first day. Thought he might help you use the room once you've found it. There's no chance I'm clambering over this mess. Hmm. This presents the perfect opportunity to teach you Evanesco, the vanishing spell. You can cast Evanesco to vanish certain objects, such as these chairs and other things here in the room. I suggest you practice the wand movements first, then you can clear the chairs away. Well, but can I use it all the time or only in this room? Splendid. Now, cast Evanesco on those chairs. I will do so. But what is it like? When do I... Like, can I use it outside of this room as well? Excellent work. You'll note that you are now in possession of Moonstone. We shall discuss its uses later. Let's move on. Can I make her disappear? Where in Merlin's name is that elf? Is that... goodness? My old school bag. I wondered where that had got to. I can't believe it's still here. I'll just take a quick look at this. Give you an opportunity to explore on your own until we locate Deke. Yes, Professor. So? Oh, dear me. Can't you keep it down? Some of us are trying to rest. Take this. But where does that stuff go to? Revelio. Hmm. It's probably a hundred years old. A new sorcerer hat. All right. Hope this isn't as precarious as it looks. An intruder! Stop them! No, not uh, that's not helpful, you worthless pile of sin. <laughs> Great job, right? Ah! <laughs> Bit offended, the room thought I needed a bath. Cheeky thing. Yeah, well. Who needed a cleaver though? Like, uh. <clears throat> what? So, so the room thought someone needed a cleaver. That is beautiful. Nice. 
How does anyone other than a house elf manage to get around in here? Revelio. <sighs> It probably plays what copyrighted was music. <laughs> was that a golden stitch? Yeah, yeah, it was. It was. It was. Perhaps you should summon your wits and find out. <laughs> I know how to solve this. It's just simple. Uh, why can I not make it disappear? Akio. Oh, I just have to push it out all the way and then I can go through. Alright, easy, easy. Where's the snitch now? It's the... Rebellion. Hmm. Incendio. What's the point of being here? I can't loot anything. Do I have to push this through so I can climb over here? Oh, I think I have to make it come back. Wrong spell. Oh, I can't push it through here again. Maybe I need to push it here so I can climb over. Yeah, I'm not sure I quite understand. How do I get to this next room now? And I, I basically trap myself now. Good thing I learned that spell. I don't see any other way of getting into that room, so... Should I push it inside? I should have pushed it inside. Mm. It's never gonna fit in, in, in there. Oh, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. I think it's... I think it worked. I think. It's not meant to be... Like, it looks like you could climb over this. It does, I swear. I swear it looks like you could climb over this. What is it good for then? To climb over here? That, that doesn't look climbable at all. Sometimes this game is confusing me. Why can I not go over that? It doesn't make sense. Look, look. It shouldn't be like this. It's close enough here. And uh, wh why cannot climb over it? I've, I, I've climbed other things before. You have to push it to the painting. Where? You mean here? We go up here? I don't know. It doesn't make a lot of sense to me. Akio. It doesn't make a lot of sense to me, but we can try. And now we go over here. Now, this is even higher. Maybe here, maybe we can go over here. But why why wasn't I able to go over the other wall? Kapulsa. It wasn't that high. Mm. Akio. Kapulsa. Put the small table on it. No, 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 that table has nothing to do with it. Th th this table has nothing to do with it. I don't think so. Incendio. Akio. The, the table is not meant for you to step on it. You know? I don't think so. I, I have no clue. This is so odd. Why, why couldn't I not go over here with the, when I push the crate here, you know? Like, it's just not that high. It should be Rebellion. entirely possible. It makes no sense to me. 
I don't understand why I wasn't able to climb over here. Like, I don't see why I'm not able to do that. But I simply couldn't do it. Compulsor. It, this, this is not the secret to it. It has something to do with this box. But there's no place where I can climb up that made, that's lo more logical than the place I already found. This here, this is the most logical place to go over because it's perfectly uh, flat, right? There's, there's absolutely no reason why I can't go over there. Levitate the box and climb on it. Can I climb that high? Levioso. It's like an invisible wall. Um, 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 that's an amazing idea, but it's like an invisible wall. Should we try inside again? We go to the other side one more time. Incendio. No, stop doing incendio, bro. Levioso. No, I meant to stop Levioso. How do I stop it? Okay, that, 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 that. I push it inside and then I lift it up. All right. But it looked like to me like there was an invisible wall. It's not. Oh. I can't turn it the way I want it. Can you go through here, please? It won't let... It won't go through. I, I have to... Oh my god. This is annoying. I, I can't turn it around so it goes through properly. Goodness! Compulsor. I need it to be 90 degree angle again. It's making it so hard for no reason, this stupid box. Oh my. Is it good enough now? Oh, it's not in the right position though. Stupid! Stupid box! Depulsor. Go in! Ah. Please just turn it! Can I turn it a little bit? I can't fly with the broom. I cannot fly with the broom. Why won't it Depulsor. let me turn it? Yes! Yes, yes, yes! Please, 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 please! Yes! Woo! That's a dad! Stupid box. Okay, and now we levitate it and I climb on top of it, okay? But, um, I, I think it's not Levioso. possible, but I guess we'll see. Okay, let's go. No, it's an invisible wall. This, it's, it's, it, this is plain ridiculous that I can't go over here. This is just ridiculous. It makes no sense whatsoever. And, and th th that's not fair. That's not fair. One bit. I, I cannot go over it. It won't let me. It's impossible. Uh, we have to skip it. I hope that house elf can find us in here. That was... That makes no sense. It was an invisible... wall. Uh. I give up. Is that Deek? Yikes! Careful! Huh? Oh, there you are! Wait right there, Deek will come to you. Hello! Ah, oh, Deek, we've been looking for you. Uh, apologies, Professor Weasley. Deek was looking through some of what's appeared in the room since Deek was last here. Is this the student? Indeed it is. Deke is honored to meet you. 
Deke has been a friend since I was a second year. We discovered this room together. I mentioned you to Deke. We believe that you might be able to benefit from this room like I did. Deke, would you be so kind? Of course, Professor Weasley. The Room of Requirement will always be equipped for the Seeker's needs. It's unplottable, so won't appear on any map. Most happen upon it by accident, if ever. Deep seen students in need of an extra file for potions stumble upon the room filled with them. You seem to have accessed it in its form as the Room of Hidden Things. I was thinking about needing a place away from prying eyes. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, that explains it then. What I need specifically is a place where I can catch up on my schoolwork without distraction. Well then, the room can provide you with precisely that. Now, it's time to focus on what you need. Lamborghini. Just close your eyes. Imagine the room precisely as you need it. A golden castle. The room will do the rest. Tropical islands. Like the Maldives. yourself quite a canvas to work with look how happy he is i look kind of handsome right now i like the I outfits i look forward to seeing what you do with the space ah and it seems the room has provided you with a desk of description excellent it can identify unfamiliar items of clothing oh. one should always understand the effects of anything in which one is clothed I do have gear that I have yet to identify. Ooh, the cloak looks really good. You'll find plenty of items of clothing that need to be identified. The desk will be an invaluable resource. All right. Let's check real quick. We need to equip the new gloves. Yeah, they're slightly better than the ones I have. And um, the new hat is also better, but I'm changing the, the, the way it looks. I, I kind of like this. W one second, check this out. Where are knights? Ha <laughs> ha! We have like 1000 armor now. Yeah, level 10 helmet, level 10 armor. No they, no one can even shoot our face. Look at that. We're like a knight now. <laughs> but maybe it's too much. I don't know. I don't know. It feels like it's too much. L let's try the the new one we got. Uh it doesn't look this one looks really good. This one looks very decent. I really like this one. Uh, and I kind of... kind of want to remove the scarf. I think it looks better without one. Uh, that looks quite good, to be honest. We, we wear it like this. How about that? With the hood. And we have... Uh, nah, we don't have... anything else. Alright, that looks... Wow, I look good! I look like a real wizard now. I look so knowledgeable. People will address me like good wizard. I was like, yeah, that's me. That's me. Um, what else can we do with this room? Why it's beautiful. I imagine the desk of description will come in handy. It will. I hope you'll take advantage of it. Now, I'll give you a brief lesson in conjuring. The room might not provide everything you need on its own. Conjuring? 
Yes, the magic of creating or conjuring objects. I'll teach you. I bet you need moonstone for it. Very good. When conjuring more complex objects, you'll need what's called a spellcraft. Spellcrafts are like recipes. Oh, right. They list the ingredients or resources needed to conjure a particular object. You should have acquired some for a potion station and potting table from tomes and scrolls in Hogsmeade. True. I did. Where can I find the resources I need? While resources such as moonstone can be obtained throughout the Highlands, it's much safer and easier to purchase them. They can also safe. be collected by vanishing objects in the room, such as the chairs you vanished earlier. In fact, you should have enough resources for now. I see. Can I regain resources by vanishing something I've already conjured? You can indeed. Hmm. Quite perceptive. Quite Why perceptive. don't you give it a try? Go ahead and conjure the potion station and potting table. You should find both familiar since they'll resemble the ones you've already used to study magical plants and brew potions in class. She knows everything. All right. Let's conjure that. Uh, la la la. Seating. <laughs> Oh, oh, a scientific, botanical, eclectic, or gothic potion station. We have small, T-shaped, and medium. I, I go with... Uh, I feel like scientific is the way to go. No, not in the... Oh, I thought he's going to conjure in the middle of the room. Oh, okay, perfect. I can put it right here in the corner. Change color. Ooh, how do I? Yeah. Uh... Yellow looks ridiculous, but I like it. Oh, I can actually see what the others look like. Mm. Ooh, the skulls. Actually, I like this one. That one looks the best. So, how do we place it now? What do you mean, select the space skull and the epic fights? Oh, we're already conjured it. Okay. I didn't see that. And now we need to have like um, a potting table as well. Mm, maybe that wasn't the best arrangement in the corner. But like, let's just have different corners for different things we're going to do here, right? How do I rotate it? How do I rotate it? Oh, I like this. Okay, perfect. Uh, the first one looked nice. Yeah. I don't think it matters which direction it's facing. And, um... Colors... That looks nice. Well done. You can use these whenever you need to brew potions or grow plants. Okay. Presuming, of course, you've collected any seeds or potion ingredients you need in Hogsmeade or outside the castle grounds. I can put a Quidditch board. Let's put it here. Oh, I shouldn't have put it that close to the wall, I guess. No clue what that is good for. 
but I could... Wow, there's so many items you can actually use. Decorations. They're all locked. Artwork. Wow, there's a lot. Mm, we do have a couch. I remember that. Yeah. It's a sofa. That does not look comfortable one bit. That looks quite majestic. Uh, how about we have a sofa like... What's, how about we have a sofa like right here in the middle so I can like lay on it like this and just eat some grapes. Let's change the color. What, what is the best color for it? Maybe, maybe the default color. Can I, I can, I can't enter it again. Tables? No, all locked. Statues? All locked. There's a lot of objects I can conjure here. Okay. Deke will be here to answer any questions you may have. Do not underestimate his insights. Can I use this type of transfiguration magic outside of the room? Conjuring and vanishing are strictly forbidden elsewhere in the castle. We've charms in place to enforce that. It would be exhausting to reverse the errors in both judgment and magic. But the room of requirement has its own rules. All right, fair enough. Imagine people starting to vanish rooms. I will rooms. be sure to speak with Deke if I need anything. Thank you. Good luck. I shall linger a bit longer in case you'd like to learn another transfiguration spell for use in the room. Sure, why didn't she say so? Oh, I got a wizarding... Oh, I got some objects right now. Some rugs, some portraits. Why didn't she... Oh, a chair. Wait, I can't even sit down on my own sofa. We got a mirror too. It is quite ridiculous that she uh, didn't give me that stuff earlier. We need a nice rock. It really ties the room together. Yeah, definitely. That's a spirit. Well, that looks even better. Looks really nice. There you go. And the, the mirror, the mirror. I want to put a mirror in place so I can see how handsome I am. Uh, oh. We do have a... A standing light. Mm, looks quite nice. Gotta be. Yeah, black looks fine. <laughs> uh, where's the a table as well? She gave me a lot of items suddenly now. Yeah, but I don't really need a table here. Let's put a table. Let's put a table right here for literally no reason. Yeah. Uh, and where was the? Um, wow, she gave me a lot of paintings. The oh, the Daper Wizard portrait. Oh, it's the guy who was mocking me earlier. Sure, uh, you can be here. But because you disrespected me, I will have another picture above you. And it means that they're more meaningful than you. Yeah, how about that? Okay, nice. I, I thought I had, a, I had a mirror too, but that's fine. Alright. So, that looks lovely. 
Okay. Uh, she can teach us more. Let's see. I'm ready for the next lesson, Professor. Very well. First, you'll need to gather some moonstone. You can acquire it by vanishing items here in the room of requirement, or you can gather it carefully outside of the Hogwarts grounds. Return to me once you've gathered enough, and we shall begin the lesson. How much does she require? <clears throat> How much does she need? I have a lot. I had like a hundred. I have the moonstone you requested, Professor. Good. Then we may begin your lesson. You can conjure more than potions and herbology tables. Conjuration can be used to decorate this space to your liking. Why don't you try it on the walls and floor? Oh, I did already. Oh, yeah. Conjure wall decorations. Okay. Hey, he's... Ha! Deke is eating popcorn. Nice. All right, we got to conjure two more paintings. That's fine. We can do that. Oh, no, the mirror was actually here. It's smaller than I thought it would be. Yeah, that one is fine, I guess. Let's have one here, too. Good work. Shall we move on? Yes, please. Teach me something new. I've conjured everything I can. What's next, Professor? I think you're ready to take on alteration. The altering spell will allow you to customize any conjured item. You can change the colors, patterns, and styles of your furniture to suit your taste. Let's get started, shall we? Watch closely as I demonstrate how to perform the altering spell. Wait, didn't I do that already? I feel like I did that already. Just aim your wand at any conjured item and perform the altering spell to customize it. Yeah, I did that already though, right? Like what's the What's the big deal now all of a sudden? Didn't I do that already? Oh, I can change all of this too, if I only had the, uh, okay. Oh, all right, I see. How about some white? Change the color of an item, adjust the size of an item. Can we make the, um, the painting bigger then? Or the, the rug? <laughs> oh, are you kidding me? Look how big it is. <laughs> All right, let's change the color as well. Uh huh. Nicely done. Now you're ready for something a little more advanced. You can use the altering spell directly on the room's architecture. Try these new designs on the floor or balcony. Try aiming at the floor or at that balcony. That looks classy. Your space might benefit from a bit of ambiance, don't you think? Deke, would you mind? Of course, Professor Weasley. Professor Weasley showed Deke this bit of magic some years ago. Deke thinks you'll enjoy it. Uh, come and talk to Deke when you're ready. I'm right here. Professor Weasley said I should ask you about changing the room's ambience? Of course. Uh, what sort of overall look most appeals to you? Moonlit ambience, natural and earthy, dark and mysterious. I'd like the room to feel mysterious and eerie, as if I'm in the forbidden forest, surrounded by shadows. Oh, sounds perfect. 
What is he gonna do now? Wow! Okay. Hmm. Quite a difference. Of course, you needn't keep this style if you don't like it. You can always ask Deke to change it back. Now you have learned a good bit about alteration. True. Thank you, Professor. The room is full of possibilities. Indeed. No matter how much time I spend here, the room always manages to surprise me. What is that? The books are flying. Is it snowing? Did we just get a living room? An even bigger space. How did that happen? The room equips itself to your needs. It must have sensed that you needed more space to practice spell casting. If you'd like to customize the space further, you can use these spellcrafts. You'll find more of them both inside and outside the school. Thank you, Professor. I shall keep an eye out. Good. I'll leave you to it. This is your space now. Use it wisely. Oh, okay. So it's like, um, I don't even need the common room, right? I can just look at the sofa, though. Like, uh, that's ridiculous. I like it. I can, uh, mm -hmm. I can do whatever I want with this place, but it's a little bit too dark. I'd like to ask you about yeah. changing the room's ambience. Let's make it, of uh, course. Uh, what sort of overall look most appeals to you? Let's make it moonlit ambience. I would like the room to feel as if it's being lit by the moon. Oh, sounds perfect. Hopefully it's a little bit... Oh, it's just as dark, no? Oh, it's even darker. Oh, goodness me. That's eh, fine. Whatever. The big sofa is the real uh, star anyway of this room. Right. Eh, whatever. That's not what I was looking for. Okay, but this is just for me to have fun. All right. But I'm not I'm not doing that right now. Like, I'm not decorating all of this. But this is actually really big. So, well, if somebody is like aspiring interior architect, you can go crazy here. Natalie, thank you for the 29. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Mm, let's leave this room. That's kind of cool. I wasn't expecting that. All right. Um, we have to go meet with uh, Sebastian. Yes. Let's go. I can't wait until I'm I learned a lot of new spells, but I unfortunately can't use them outside that room, so they're not helping me in, in combat or anything. Yeah. Well that, that is fine, that is fine. Let's see what Sebastian has for us now. Over here. Mm hmm. Sebastian, it's been a while. It has. Glad you received my owl. I have something to show you. First, let me thank you for what you did in the library. Of course. Scribner tried to give me detention, but I have ways out of these things. Well, you took the fall for me, and that counts for something. Did you find what you were looking for? I did, but something was missing. I'm not sure here is the best place to discuss it. Understood. We can talk more in a moment, in the Undercroft. Not even the professors know about this place. How does he know about it then? This way. Are we sneaking into some room again? There's a secret passage just here. It's well disguised. I really dig this outfit. 
Let's enter the undercraft. How do I know how to do it if I've never done it? I didn't even know this place uh, existed. <laughs> how did you find this place? My friend, Ominous Gaunt. He named it the Undercroft. Right. We used to play gobstones here all the time. With my sister, Anne. She loved that infernal game. What I wouldn't give to lose to her again. I should tell you, I swore to Ominous I would safeguard this place. So please, keep this between us. Sure. He never confides in anyone. But he's trusted me since the day we met. I wouldn't want to jeopardize that. We used to sneak in here almost daily. We've never been caught. Do you mind if I, like, steal stuff in your room? Revelio. Hope he doesn't mind. I'm stealing a little bit of gold here and there. Uh, what is this good for? Uh, he's going to teach me something, isn't he? I think I've seen Ominous in potions. Or was it Herbology? I've noticed that he uses his wand to navigate the castle. He does. No idea how, though. Ominous was born blind, and no spell could reverse it. His wand seems almost sentient. Not surprising, I suppose. Ollivander always says, the wand chooses the wizard. Is that how he found this place? No, someone in his family knew about it. The Gaunts are full of secrets. I've never heard anyone else speak of it. And I've certainly never seen anyone else here. Again, mention this to no one, especially Ominous. He has no love lost for his family or their secrets. But this place is special to him. Understood. But why does Ominous have no love lost for his family? His father's family are direct descendants of Salazar Slytherin, one of the four founders of Hogwarts. Obsessed with blood status, most of them. Ominous cannot abide them, as he'll be the first to tell you. Anyway, the Undercroft has been a perfect place to sneak off to, away from prying eyes, and even practice otherwise forbidden spells. Really? Like what? Like the Blasting Curse. Professors say it's not an appropriate spell to teach students. All right. Now we're getting somewhere. A proper magical education ought to include all magic. My thoughts exactly. A spell like Confringo is only truly dangerous in untrained hands. Such spells should be properly taught, not banned. To be fair, I'm admittedly partial to more fiery forms of magic. But you should learn it. I can teach it to you safely here. Absolutely, yes. It may take a while to get the feel for it. Mimic my wand movement. The incantation is Confringo. Confringo. Very well. Alright, let's do it. It's a curse. I love it. It was like a Z from Zoro. You're getting it. Ready to actually try it out? Yes. Stick to the targets, though. It's here. The Undercroft intact. Have a go at those candelabras. Both have their uses, but I think you'll find... Good finger. Finger. Nice work. How's it feel? That's it. I think I've got it. Seems well powerful done. enough. I have to say, I enjoyed that. The first time Ominous and I practiced Confringo, we singed our eyebrows. <laughs> I would have paid to see that. I swore we'd never live it down. So this day, there's something about that spell that's addictive. This is exactly the type of magic I've been hoping to learn. There's more where that came from. I've been practicing similar spells here for ages. Although, I didn't tell Anne and Ominous about every one. I haven't been here in some time. It's not the same without Anne. I'm sorry about your sister. If there's anything I can do... Perhaps when I next head to Feldcroft, you could come along. Meet Anne. She could use some cheering up. Just let me know when and I'll meet you. Yeah, we'll be oh, She misses Hogwarts. She's been stuck at home with our guardian, Uncle Solomon. 
Unfortunately, you'll have to meet him too. Well, meeting a new student will be precisely what she needs. I shall look forward to it. Cheers. By the way, what was it you couldn't discuss out in the hall earlier? I'm not sure where to start. You said something was missing from what you found in the library. I assume it's to do with what you told me. About the port key and Gringotts and Ranrock. Nothing gets past you. And yes, it is. As I'm sure you suspect, there is a bit more to all of this. I'm listening. You must promise to keep this between us. I trusted you with knowledge of the secret Undercroft. You can trust me. All right. I can see traces of ancient magic. Ancient magic? I don't know what I was expecting you to say, but it wasn't that. What does that even mean? Honestly, I'm not entirely certain. All I know is that I can see whispers of an old magic that hardly anyone else can. Fig and I think that Ranrock has somehow found a way to harness that magic's power. Are you telling me that goblins may be wielding some sort of wizard magic? That's what we're trying to find out. And this ability of yours, does it allow you to wield this magic too? I... Uh, I don't know. Well, when you do know, tell me. I've been studying archaic forms of magic for ages. Perhaps we can help each other. In the meantime, with both Rookwood and Ranrock after you, I suspect a bit more time practicing the blasting curses in order. Spend as much time here as you'd like. And remember, keep this place I between will. us. I will. I will. Nice. When I head to Feldcroft, I'll send you an owl. Okay, perfect. I want to go there. The outfit is cold. Hello, Sebastian. Wait. You there! I can hear you! Oh, hello. Ominous, isn't it? I believe we have potions together. And herbology? I recognize that voice. Heard you talking to Gareth Weasley in potions class. You're the new fifth year. Did you just come from the Undercroft? How did you get in there? He's kind of know that Sebastian showed me, right? But I told him not to tell him, so I'm like... I stumbled upon it. He's never gonna believe me, but... That room's called the Undercroft. <laughs> ah, well, I was exploring and then suddenly found myself in a strange passageway. Don't lie to me. No one stumbles upon that room. Sebastian told you, didn't he? Yes. You breathe a word about this place to anyone. And not even your precious Professor Fig will be able to help you. My father is friends with the Headmaster. I am not afraid to exploit that connection if I need to. Trust me, Ominous. I won't say a word. And Sebastian is a good friend. You shouldn't immediately assume the worst of him. I don't need you to tell me about my oldest friend. Thank you very much. Ominous, I just meant- I know what you meant! Sebastian gets himself in enough trouble. He doesn't need your help. Well, Sebastian is going to get an earful about this. Well, he did not like that very much. But what if I simply run away? He would not. He, there's no way for him to know it was me. You know, like I should have just kept going, but you couldn't. I would have just kept going. What? There's nothing for him to do. You know, like what? He, he can know who I am. He can simply hear the steps. That's all. He knew someone was there. Could have been anyone, right? All right. He's gonna... Oh, we're gonna learn another spell. It's like one spell after the next one. Acquire and use an invisibility potion. And a thunderbrew potion. Do we actually have a thunderbrew potion? I do have an invisibility potion. Wait, where's my potions? I got a new mail. Come and see me as soon as you can. I've returned from a rather unproductive trip to the Ministry, hoping your time has been more fruitful than mine. I would like to teach you Wingardium Leviosa. It can be used to levitate objects for a short time. Once you've completed a few prerequisite tasks, do see me after class. Oh, I want to do that as well. 
Wingardium Leviosa. Let's let, we can learn that, but first let's uh Do I have this potion? No, I do not have it. I need to buy Oh it's the thunder Oh, it's the Thunder Brew potion. We need to use it and then uh, uh, all right, use it against enemies. Okay, we can do that. We just have to acquire it. I need to buy it. Can I start with the broom here? Oh, you can. This is awesome. It's night again. Come on. Hogsmeade, here we come. Man, that, that, that like new robe is cold. That robe is cold. Hogsmeade was over here. Yeah, I can see it. I look like a proper wizard. We use it against enemies, so we need to find some enemies. Who lived here, I wonder? Hmm. Forgot, forgot, I can't land there. I cannot land there. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's go buy it. Uh, Alright, this is the bridge I have to cross. And then... Where was... Is this... Yeah. Pippin's potions. potions to Madame Lawing. Save me a lot of time and trouble. Sure. What can I do for you today? Oh, I can actually buy the recipe. It's not... It's not that expensive, right? I can just buy it. Wow, buying it is a thousand. I have to purchase it, though. A wise decision. Thank you. I think I can sell some of the stuff I no longer use. Very good. Never hurts to keep my stocks replenished. Oh, that, that robe is actually better than the one I have. I should not sell it. I should actually wear it. Yeah, I made back some coins. Perfect. I hope to see you again. Farewell for now. Now I can I can actually brew the potion at my table in the room. Um, but not, but we have a a bigger goal. We need to fight some enemies and drink this potion, right? And also, what 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 potion do we need as well? Acquire and use an invisibility potion. I already had that, right? Here. Yeah. Okay. Let's hope it works. Okay, it did work. If, 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 it's wow, it's like the effects are lasting for five seconds. What's the point? I was hoping it would last a lot longer, like 30 seconds or so. The outfit reminds me. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Assassin's Creed, indeed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It does look like it. Yeah. Huh. From the original Assassin's Creed. Yeah. I think I think the assassin's name was Altair. Yeah. Um Let's go find enemies and drink the potion. This one here. Thunder brew. I hope I don't waste it. It was a thousand coins, right? I hope I don't waste it. Uh Let's find enemies. I'm just going to the forest. There might be some spiders and then um, mongrels again. Yeah, I think that was a spider. Yeah, yeah, I hear a spider. Mm mm mm. And perfect. And I need to make sure it's affecting them. 
Yes. yes, it is. It is working. It's working. Perfect. Confringo. Confringo. Akiem. Confringo. All right. Ugh. Shame you're so foul. It's kind of nice. It's protecting me by attacking enemies on its own. All right, that could be useful. You should buy a wizard's hat and wear it on the stream while playing this game. I think this robe would look really cool if I had it, but this probably like you can't just buy it, right? If you have like a like this tip the the the, the wizard hat with the tip, right? Uh it's how can you wear headphones? Right? There's more enemies over here. Can I jump that far? I can. Leviosa, <laughs> Hey, that looks like a Revelio. That looks like you can do something here. But I was just here. I was just here to um, use the potion and actually see how it works. And I guess we did that. It's time to learn the spell. I feel like we know a lot of spells now, which is awesome. Back to Hogwarts. Mm. We need to go to potions class and um, he's going to teach us something. It's a, it's it's a bit odd that I never have to go. Oh wow, the dragon is moving here. I never noticed that. Nice. It's a bit odd that I never have to go to my common room for the house. Like the, the Gryffindor common room. I, I'm never there. I'm like just running around all the time. Like my character never has to sleep or anything. <laughs> Off on another adventure, are we? Oh, shut up. Oi. Let's see what the... We can, cr we can, uh, oh, it's actually really simple to, to craft. Leech, juice, and spider fang. We have plenty. Nice. That's a simple potion. Have you finished your assignments? I sure did. I finished the tasks, Professor. Well, well. I trust you are meticulous in your efforts. After all, shortcuts only ever lead to shortcomings. Yes, sir. Of course. Good. Ordinarily, I'd say it's not my concern either way, but you... I want to make sure you're well prepared. Talent and resolve are a potent combination. It would be a shame to let that go to waste. Thank you, Professor. Don't let it go to your head. Now, let's see how you fare with Defindo. Wand at the ready. Let's do it. Focus. Defindo can be dangerous if you're not paying attention. Hmm. Very good. It seems you have a grasp on Defindo. I would encourage you once again to practice here in the classroom. For your sake and that of everyone else. All right. Slashes objects and enemies from afar, dealing considerable damage. Why does he tell me that? He's the potions guy. I feel like this is going to be super powerful. Defendo. It's a pleasure to have a student who actually heeds instruction. Oh, but it has a long cooldown. 
It has like it has oh can I switch between Can I switch between spells and then go back again and then wait for the cooldown? Wow, I can okay, okay. That's kind of cool. As I mentioned earlier, Defendo can be versatile but dangerous. Good to see you continuing to practice. Absolutely, Professor, always. Let's craft a new uh potion of this. Okay, perfect. It's like a magic disc that cuts through enemies. It's gonna be nice. Alright. Uh, I need to go back to Professor Fig, but... Acquire and use a venomous tentacular. Acquire and use a mandrake on multiple enemies simultaneously. And then she's teaching me uh, another spell. We can go also back to Professor Fig or we can learn another spell. Let's go report back to the professor, shall we? Let's see what he has for us. That's the last oh, nice time I have a potion, my young friend. I need to uh, put my spells to use. Get a snot on your nose. Oh, he's, he's in the tower all the way up, isn't he? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's in his office. But first, when it comes to the spells, I feel like we want to have this as well. I, I, I can't decide which one we should take with us. Like, Incendio is kind of strong. I feel like we should have Incendio always with us. But uh, maybe, like, Akio wasn't that strong, but we needed to break the shields. So I, I don't know. I don't know. The Finder was kind of awesome as well, right? But maybe I should put it somewhere else. Like here. And then I switch between the skills while I fight. Yeah, because Repulsor wasn't... Repulsor was kind of awesome as well, right? So we have Akio, we have Repulsor. I have Akio and then I use... Oh, it's actually perfect! Ha! So I pull enemies towards me and I incinerate them. I, I, I burn them and then I push him away and I slash them. Ha! Perfect. They don't even know what's up once they meet me. I was hoping to see you. And here I am. You're back. Finally. Minister Spavin talks more than he listens. Ranted on and on about rogue dragons. Wouldn't listen to a word about goblins. Speaking of which... Listen, Professor. So much happened while you were away. Nearly Headless Nick asked me to get some rotten roast beef from the kitchens. Rotten roast beef? Yes, I thought it was odd too. But then we took the roast beef to Sir Podmore of the Headless Hunt and... You met the Headless Hunt? <laughs> that must have been interesting to say yes. that. Yes, and then I had to find Richard Jackdaw's head in the pumpkins so that he'd tell me about how he died. Who on earth is Richard Jackdaw? He was a student here long ago. Anyway, he told me about a secret cavern. I went there, and right next to Jackdaw's skeleton, I found the missing pages. You found the pages? I did. And because Jackdaw had followed the map they contained, when I found the pages, I found the location on the map. Believe it or not, it's a room below Hogwarts. Why am I not surprised? Shall we? I was hoping you'd say that. Oh, and we'll need to bring the book. The map chamber. I hope there's enemies here now. I hope there's enemies here. I want to see some enemies here. The room is called the map chamber, by the way. 
And the portrait of Percival Rackham awaits us there. Professor Rackham. I look forward to meeting him. How did this Jackdaw get the pages from the book? Evidently, Peeves stole them, and Jackdaw stole them from him. Oh, Peeves. To think it was beneath us all this time. Yeah, how little does he know about his own school? Look how big all of that is. He's gonna place the book here. And then an enemy will appear in the middle. He's spawning someone. I bet that's what's gonna happen. Someone is like, you freed me! Looks promising. Some powerful magic. Beautiful. Why does Professor Fick always look so surprised? He's like super experienced, or he should be. A map. There's Hogsmeade. And over here, the Forbidden Forest. And, of course, Hogwarts. It's magnificent. If only you were here to see this. Hello, Professor Rackham. We've placed the book on the pedestal as you asked. And this is my mentor, Professor Fig. How do you do, Professor Fig? And you, my young friend, see now why you needed to return with the book? I do. I also see why you refer to this room as the map chamber. That you have come this far tells me that you possess extraordinary magical ability, the potential and power of which will unlock should you prove yourself worthy. The location of each of four trials will, in time, oh. appear on the map. Trials that will test you and give you access to invaluable knowledge. Trials that you must complete on your own. Do you recall the pensive memory you viewed in my vault in Gringotts? Oh, yeah, I do. You and your friend Charles spoke of the port key and of trials you'd created for one who could see traces yes. of ancient magic. Precisely. Charles is another of the Keepers, a designation we gave ourselves centuries ago, in light of the knowledge that we have been bound to keep hidden. Until, perhaps, now. So, the passage from your ruins to Gringotts, everything in the vault, the restricted section, finding this room, none of these was a trial. They were an important part of the journey, but they were not trials themselves. The fact that you have come this far, however, bodes well. The trials were designed to ensure that the power and knowledge we have kept secret for so long does not fall into the wrong hands. They will test your abilities, both innate and learned. But of equal importance, everything you witness as you complete the trials will inform what you choose to do with all that we share. You will need patience. The trials have much to teach you. It will take time. I'm afraid we don't have the luxury of time. We have waited this long, Professor Fig. Surely a few more. Respectfully, sir, while I do not know the secret you keep, I do know that our young friend here has seen traces. Traces of a powerful dark magic being wielded by goblin kind. And we encountered an uncommonly powerful goblin wielding such magic as we prepared to leave your vault at Gringotts. We may already be too late. This is grave news indeed. Young friend, do you trust Professor Fig? I do. Then, in the light of your considerable skill and all you have already accomplished, we shall begin. 
you will find the location of the first trial marked on the map below you. Whilst Professor Fig may assist you in locating the trials, they may be completed only by one with our ability. Yeah, probably locked behind Shall the wall. Shall we have a look? But he can't go through, but I can. Ah! It's I the know tower. That tower. Yeah. It's not far. It's just next to Hogwarts. You may have seen it yourself. I sure did. Yeah. It looks familiar. <laughs> Perhaps your young friend is more well traveled than you might think. As your mentor, the least I can do is go ahead to make sure it is safe. Join me as soon as you can. I'll find you at the tower as soon as I can. Until then, be careful. And do not tell anyone where you're going. Sure. Oh, it's four trials we have to complete. Look at this map though, it looks so beautiful. The detail is really nice. I really like this. So he probably can't, he goes there, but he probably can't enter it. You know, it's like only someone who's wielding the ancient magic. It's time you learned, Iglesias, the freezing spell. It is an efficient way to cool down a heated situation. But first, I will need you to complete a few tasks. Once you've done that, come and see me. Oh, we can learn a new spell from her. Wasn't she the, the, the teacher with the, the broomstick? Pop balloons over Hogsmeade Station. Pop balloons around the Quidditch pitch. Oh, she's teaching us something. All right, all right. I feel like we are more prepared once we know uh, Wingardium Leviosa and the Glacius spell. So let's do these two uh, quests first. That seems simple enough. Hi, Professor Fig. How is it going? You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu power. Yeah, yeah, I know. You said it literally a hundred million times already. Um, can I, I... I can't go... Why can't I go here? Oh, I can. Perfect. Nice. We just have to fly around a little bit with the, the broom. Oh, brooms are more effective near the, near the ground, so we're faster when we're lower to the ground? I didn't know that. Okay, these are the balloons we're supposed to pop, I guess. Alright, five. There are five of them. Uh, sure seems simple enough. I don't think there's a time requirement. We can take all the time in the world. Uh, one is hidden here. I just don't know why it's night for so long. Every time we go outside, it's like dark. Okay, but where's the last one? Where's the fifth one? Oh, it's here. Okay, found it. Perfect. And... The other one is above Hog Hogsmeade Station, okay. This is the tower, by the way. Here, this one. Of course I recognized it. It's just next to Hogwarts. How can I put... Uh, how can the student not know of it? Uh, you gotta be... Like, how is it even possible? Alright. Let's pop the balloons over Hogsmeade Station as well. It's just over here. They're more effective close to the the ground. I, I don't feel like we're particularly faster. Not really. I feel like it's the same speed as being a little bit more like higher up. Oh, look at that. Mmm. Air-to-air -air combat. I can't... Hey, they disappeared. Come on, that's not fair. Uh, Alright, the balloons are here. The balloons are here. Simple enough. It's uh, one, two, three. Four. Alright, let's start. Oh, 
Is that our last one down there? I, I don't think it belongs to Hogsmeade Station, this one. There's got to be another one. That I don't see. It's always the fifth one I can't find. Hmm. Where's the last one? What? I mean, it would be simple if it's daytime. Oh, it's here. Wow. All right, there we go. She's gonna... She's gonna teach us. A new spell. I want to fly through the window. <laughs> uh, that would be quite something. Okay, where is she waiting though? Up here? What? She's outside? I don't think I've ever been here. She has like a separate office. Oh yeah, she does. How did you get on with those tasks? Marvelous news that we will be joining the faculty at Hogwarts as our new flying instructor. Oh. I'm writing to do I'm writing to do with Professor Black's decision to cancel Quidditch. As you know, joining a professional Quidditch team is my utmost dream of belief. My chances will now be ruined. Or at least significantly thwarted. Yeah, I would love... It would be nice if you could play Quidditch, right? But it's cancelled, so... You know, it was written by Imelda. Well, I, I guess she wasn't uh, successful with that plea. Okay. Madam Kagawa, I completed the list of tasks you assigned. Wonderful. I trust you became more familiar with your broom through the process? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Not really. Yes, Professor. That's good to hear. Keep it up, and perhaps one day you'll have a spot on the Quidditch team. If Black ever permits Quidditch again. Well, with those tasks out of the way, let us get started. Glacius. Pay attention to your wand work. Why does the Quidditch flying instructor teach me spells? Well done. I'd recommend that you practice your new spell here in my office before taking it out into the world. The one spell I really need... Freezes enemy. Well, that's. I have so many spells now that were kind of awesome to use. Glacius! There you go! Catching on the Glacius! The failure! But do continue to practice as long as you like. Kinesthesia is a powerful learning tool. I got it. I think I got it under control. I need to learn how to. Open the locks. That's the spell I need, right? <laughs> Lumos. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. What can I do here? I can wait, but what for? I don't even know. We, we have to do one more side quest to learn a new spell. And we have like all the spells, I think, for now is uh i i use uh, i need to buy a tentacular and use the mandrake on enemies but those i can i think only purchase at hogsmeade again we, we have to go back there yeah we need to acquire them buy them but why is it always night time i want daylight i want daylight mm. I don't know if I can change 
uh, daytime would be nice if I go to my chambers or something. I've never tried. The castle must have been quite stately in its time. Why does he always keep repeating the same thing? How's he going? Well, that was rather fast. Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? I guess it does not. Mm. Wait, where was the shop with the supplies? It had a, it had a specific name. I think it was the magic neep, right? I think. Let's see. Lumos. Greetings. Please take your time looking about. No. It was this guy only has seeds. Oh yeah. Where where was it? Does anyone remember? No one can say I don't keep a stack shelf. Where could I? Didn't I buy plants somewhere? It wasn't here. It wasn't at the wizard wear. It wasn't. Oh, hairdressing. We can get a new hairstyle. Uh, do I have to go to the I don't can I not buy it that stuff there's only tomes and scrolls that was where we buy the broomstick the beast supply shop that's not it either the mandrake roots they were I thought they were here What? Does... Does he sell it? We have everything a young student might need when it comes to potions. Have a good look around. No, he doesn't sell it either. He just sells the... He just sells ingredients. I know I had a mandrake root in, in Thank you again alchemy for delivering class. those potions to Madame Lawing. Saved me a lot of time and trouble. Look at the sign next to the objective. I can visit Dogweed and Deathcap. Where is Dogweed and Deathcap? Huh? Oh. Where where is that place called Dogweed and Deathcap? No, no, no. Look, look, look. It's not here either. Ah, oh, it's all the way here. Have I ever been to this place before? If yes, then I'm sorry because I don't remember. Oi, oh, it didn't zoom out enough. It didn't zoom out enough. The map is... The, lap, the map looks nice, but it's, I mean, sometimes it's confusing. It wasn't zoomed out enough. Thank you for the help. All right, I hope sometimes it, it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. I hope it's not. I hope it's not too expensive. And I don't think I've been here before. Rebellion. Let's have you leave here alive. Such a wee 
Mairn gien a thrashin to a troll. Oh, I can't believe it. Aye, it's a... It's the same sign as next to the objective. Yeah, that's a keen observation. You're right about that. Yep. Uh, we need to use this. Ah! Got you. 500 gold. Nice. Hello! A customer is here. Wait. Revelio. The dogweed and death cap tree. Oh, it supports the shop. Uh, so, like, it's, um, cool. Necessary for the house not to crumble. Hello. Oh, hello. Whew. Sorry I'm in a bit of a tizzy. I was just scolding some of the plants for spitting and nipping. I suppose it's my own fault for putting more than four to a tray. By the way, Beatrice Green is the name, but you may address me as Madam Green. Welcome to Dogweed and Death Cap. Oh, uh, mind you don't knock the mandrakes. Oh, if there wasn't the constant demand for antidotes, I wouldn't need to stock so many of the little deers. Except, of course, for curses. And, well, if you've been petrified, then obviously you've come to the right place. I want to buy stuff, <laughs> not you listen to your life the story. Mandrakes. Oh, if there's an uprooting, you'll be the next one to drop dead, and I'm in no mood for a clear up. What do you have for sale? So, tarantula. Well, what say we show you some of what's available? Oh, it's 500, but let's go ahead and purchase oh, it. I'm always thrilled when a young one and makes a wise purchase. And the venomous tentacula. I you'll go far. They helped me in a fight. They helped me in a fight. Oh, I can actually, I can actually grow it myself. So I can buy mandrake myself. I can grow mandrake myself if I want to. Right. Okay. But I don't have enough coin right Doors now. Doors always open. You be sure to stop by soon. Mm. Use the mandrake on multiple enemies at the same time. Okay. Hogsmead, here I come. Mm, the sheep are not enemies. The tentacula, we just use it. So we just throw it somewhere. Uh, It's here. Okay, let's just use it then, I guess. Bigger than I thought. It's probably attacking enemies as well. How does it know, like friend and foe? Huh. How does it know? Right? How does it know I'm the good guy here? Okay. I probably should have used it next to enemies instead of wasting it right here. It's like 500 coin gone. Mm, that's fine. We can grow it ourselves if we actually want to. Um, let's go find enemies. Oh, I'm not allowed to fly here yet. I need to leave uh, Hogsmeade. And then we have to throw a mandrake. It's the little... It's a little carrot that shouts... Ah! Almost died here. It's the little carrot that shouts really loudly. It screams. It probably stuns enemies. Let's find out. Uh... Yeah. I have absolutely no idea why it's always night for us. I mean, it looks kind of cool, but still. Okay, we are ready to fly again. Nice. Let's find enemies. Hopefully, like, spiders. Mm. There's... There's one mongrel below me, but it's not enough. I need multiple enemies. But we can we can Defender. test this. Defender. Wow, it is strong. One shot of there. All right, that was quite powerful that spell. Mm, what's the wolf doing so close next to the the goats? I need multiple enemies at the same time. I can't waste that mandrake root, it was expensive. 
I believe you are ready to learn Arresto Momentum, the slowing charm. It allows you to freeze objects or people in midair. Simply complete a few tasks and then come and see me. It's been ages since I've found anything worth oh. poaching near Cragcroft. We got poachers. They come after me. I hope you're ready for the Mandrake, poachers. Let's go, let's go. Mandrake, attack! Assignment's all finished. You're the little son that saved Treadwell. Defender! Careful now. Depulsor! I know all about you. Accio! Incendio! Oh, what have you done? Nice. It, it stuns them. All right. That was, it wasn't as long as I thought it would be, but it probably... Well, it helps you get the first attacks in. Uh, that was cool. Okay. My character was just like, here, take the mandrake. Um, such an eerie feeling in this forest. They're fighting, they're fighting up there. Strategically laid out. Hasted a false chariot. I shall not allow the very life for me to be held ransom at the mercy of recklessness. Akio! Is that all they're teaching? Well, they teach me more, my friend. They do teach me more, right? Incendio! Levioso! Incendio! They do teach me more, my friend. So, hope you're happy now. Huh? You gotta be careful. What's what's with the vases? Why am I, why should I destroy them? Which one missing? What is that good for? Oh no, what did I do now? The Dark Arts Battle Arena. Fight waves of enemies in this battle arena with the unforgivable curses of Kedavra, Imperio and Crucio, as well as the blasting curse Confringio. In addition to their unique and devastating effects, unforgiven curses break through all shield charms. Oh yeah, but I, I don't... This seems to be like... Um, I'm not like leveled up enough. I don't even know these curses yet. Yeah. I, I don't even know them. Yeah. All, all I know is uh, Confringio. That's all I know. Yeah. I don't think it's enough. But that's okay. That's okay. We'll learn them. We'll learn those curses as well. Yeah. We, we need to go uh, back so we get uh, the reward. She's going to teach us Wingardium Leviosa. Yeah. All right. Let's go back to the school. Abandoned long ago, no doubt. Oh, that place looks wonderful. I could try it and go inside, but I only know one of the four spells that they listed there. So I don't think I I have already what it takes, you know, to go there. I don't think I have what it takes. I, I need to learn the curses and then we go there. We probably don't go past wave one or two, you know what I mean? There, I don't know how many waves there are. Maybe it's like a test of your skills and it's a lot of waves. Uh, I, I have absolutely no idea. Let's go uh, back to the school. And you have to attend the class during the day. Yes, but it will skip the time. We'll be fine. When I, once I go to the classroom, I can just wait. I don't know if it's possible to skip the time. I have to check that if it's possible to skip time. Oh, these guys are at it again. It might be possible to skip the time. I guess we'll see. Who would have thought that watching 
plants grow could be yeah it's skipping ahead automatically I feel like the audio files are missing for these cutscenes. It's the third one where there's zero audio. How wonderful to see you again. Uh huh. I am the king of the world. The dark wizard. Nobody can stop me. I've completed my assignments, Professor. Pleased to hear it. Professor Weasley will be too. I'll be sure to let her know how well you're coming along. Thank you, Professor. Professor Hecate tells me she taught you Levioso, so you should be ready for a more advanced levitation charm. Wingardium Leviosa requires a bit of concentration and a nice graceful wand movement. Let's see you try your hand at it. When executed correctly, you should be able to pick up boulders as though they were sprigs of sneezewort. Control its position with your movements. Oh, you can fine tune so I can make sure it lands exactly where it has well to be. Done. Feel free to practice Wingardium Leviosa. Here I will. It's a utility spell. I've set Wingardium Leviosa. You're a natural. I can fine tune it. Professor Garlic. Oh, I talked to her accidentally. So now's as good a time as any. Apologies, Professor. Perhaps later. Not to worry. I'll be here if you'd like to talk. I wanted to, to use the spell and, and change the distance. And it's the same button as talking to her. Uh, that's Handy right. resource indeed. Your field yeah, 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 yeah. She says it 10 million times, doesn't she? Every day. So proud of herself. Wait, I got lost. Is that the way out? Oh, it is. Wish I could see one thing in there. I just know it. Wait, which one was the way out? Isn't that the main hall? Is that the exit? I wish I received letters. No, that's where I came where I came from. Oh goodness, it's a maze. How do I get there? I go here. Um I go here. Wait, is that the official way leaving the castle? Oh, that's the main. Okay, okay, okay. That's the main entrance. I was confused. We oui, look at that guy. Probably had a quite the headache when he died. Before he died, I don't know. Still has, probably. Probably still has. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. I'm like a such such a great wizard. That's what I am. Look at me. Look at me. Flying around like it's nothing. Flying around like it's nothing. Alright, alright, alright. Alright. Um, but we gonna start... We gonna start the quest with um, Professor Fick, the first trial, the next time. I think it's perfect now. We know lots of spells. And then we go to this tower here and complete the first trial. 
I think we should have the right equipment and the spells now for it, and especially the right attire for it. Yeah. So, um, I'm going to end the stream here. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. Thank you for the love and the support. Have an amazing Friday. Have a great weekend. I'll see you guys in the next one. And then we're going to go complete the task, I guess. Or at least try to. I don't doubt it. Look at us. Looking good. Hey, get out of my face. <laughs> it's the perfect cutoff point. If we start this quest now, it probably lasts an hour or maybe more. Right? Um, yeah. It's perfect right now. I feel like it's perfect. Yeah. So thank you so much for watching. PG over now. Have a good one. And um, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.